and thank you for the support that you do give to our uh, Board of Christian Education and Formation. On yesterday, we did celebrate our fall festival. We had, uh, in conjunction with our Ambassadors for Christ, and that was truly a blessing yesterday. Anybody that came yesterday? Uh, the ambassadors did their part. They had their spiritual growth, and it was amazing to me to actually see how Carol Pinkston and Carmen Goodman worked with our children for their spiritual growth. It was unbelievable. There were parents that were sitting around watching what they do, and they were just sharing with me how amazed they were that their children were actually participating spiritually yesterday and how they are learning. We had so many volunteers, and I dare not start listing folks because I'll leave somebody off, but you know who you are. Um, we had volunteers uh, that uh, came and worked with us on yesterday. We had enough candy. It takes Mark Sullivan to tell you how kids were carrying their candy away from here on yesterday. Candace bought her group of folks with those funny made cars and the <laughs> kids and adults were amazed by that. We, LeBron Evans made sure that we had a representative from the police department that talked to our older kids and told them what to expect as, as young men and young ladies and what to do when they encounter our police force. And, and that was good to see too because we don't want them growing up being afraid of the police or being intimidated right, by the right. police. We want them to stand flat-footed and know what their rights are. So that part was good on yesterday. Um, we had wonderful hot dogs. Uh, Anna did a great job with the food and the ushers and everybody that did see the I'm naming folks, and I don't want to leave anybody off, but the men's ministry and the choirs, the usher board, um, the students board, the uh, trustees, who am I The missionaries did homemade cupcakes. We had lemonade. Who am I leaving off? I don't want to leave anybody off. You know who you are that uh, decorated a car and then filled it with candy. You know who you are that brought the candy to put in those cars. We appreciate you, and we truly, truly thank you. So I'm going to end by asking you to give yourselves a Oh, and we had our older, senior, older folks that came, too. We didn't get to play our bingo like we normally do, so we're going to do that a little bit later on because we had gifts that were donated for our seniors, so we'll do that part a little bit later on. But I want you to give yourselves a round of applause for all that you did to make yesterday successful. All right, thank you. Parkwood. I want to say uh, we had a wonderful revival last week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And um, we had uh, dynamic speakers and spirit filled choirs. And we had so many people to volunteer to help us uh, do the things that we did last week. So I want to thank you for that. But it was truly a wonderful revival. Okay. We have one uh, thank you card from the Hayes family. It says, thanking God for you, remembering your work of faith and labor of love. Parkwood Church, we thank God for you. May God continue to bless you. We love you. Asking the Lord to bless you in return for the many ways your life is blessing as a blessing to others through your ministry. And this comes from the Massey and the Hayes family. Our announcements are Health and Awareness a Week event. Breast Cancer Awareness Month is an international health program that occurs every October. The month's goals are to raise awareness of breast cancer, promote prevention and screening, 
and to raise funds for research. It is also Mental Health Month. Please see your health flyer attached. As many of you know, COVID is still there, is, is still out there, and the U.S. government has resumed its free COVID testing kits. Your order of a COVID-19 test is completely free, including shipment. So please take advantage of that. Village Heartbeat Competition Recruiting has begun this year. We are promoting lifestyle changes that will improve health, which can continue throughout your life. We have six slots open for the team. Please see Claudia Stowe or Harriet Mendenhall for more information. Each Wednesday from 10 a.m. until 4.30 p.m., Atrium Health will provide Care Everywhere health care services from well child visits until adult physicals to diagnosing long-term diagnoses like diabetes, in state of art, health care, mobile family medicine units, welcoming patients ages two years and up. The mobile unit will be located in the parking lot of Parkwood. Saturday, November the 2nd, from 9 a.m. until 11, the men's ministry will meet for their weekly health walk around the church. Please come and join us. Let's make this a rewarding and successful health venture for all of us. Saturday, November the 2nd, from 11 a.m. to 1, Live Longer, Stronger Health and Emotional Wellness Clinic will be held at Parkwood. Join us at the Community Health Clinic to find out information regarding your health status. Please see flyers in the bulletin or in the Norfolk and Administrative Hallway. The Voice of Democracy program, sponsored by the Veterans of Foreign Wars, is open to students in grades 9 to 12 who are enrolled in a public, private, or parochial high school or home study program in the United States and its territories. Applications for scholarships are now being accepted. Please see flyers in the Norfolk or administrative hallway for details. Sunday, November the 10th, annual Family and Friends Day. This is a special day for us to come together in the house of the Lord. Therefore, invite all of your family and friends to come worship with us at our 10.30 a.m. service. And this is sponsored by the Women's Auxiliary. Saturday, November the 16th, save the date. Friendship Missionary Baptist Church will sponsor Black Health Matters 2024 Summit. We are bringing Charlotte medical organizations to one place for the VHM Charlotte Health Summit. Please see flyer for additional information. November the 18th, the 11th Annual Healthy Church 2030 Conference will be held virtually. Registration is $25. The 7th Episcopal District Women in Ministry Conference will be held November the 21st through the 23rd, 2024 at the Hilton Charlotte University Place Hotel. The theme is Propelling Women to Soar Boldly. Registration is $150. Please call the Hilton Charlotte University Place for reservations. Rayfield Metcalf Scholarship Fund is now accepting applications. Applications are available in the Norfolk and the Administrative Hallway. Please see Preston Rayner for further information. The Get Out to Vote details and information are printed in your bulletin on the flyers located in the administrative hallway and Norfolk's. 
Charlotte Future 2024 Community Area Plans will help identify opportunities for more housing choices, jobs, increase access to daily goods, and reduce environmental impacts. Please see flyer for additional information. That concludes the announcements, but you can always read the um, bulletin for further details. At this time, we want to recognize persons that celebrated a birthday since last week. If you celebrated a birthday, please stand and be recognized. No birthdays? Okay. Anyone celebrating a wedding anniversary since last week, would you please stand? May you have a lifetime of happiness and together may you see all your dreams come true. Congratulations. this time we would like to welcome all of our guests if you are visiting with us would you please stand and give us your name Any more visitors? Okay, we hope that you receive a blessing by being with us today. And now we'll have a word from our pastor. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning to our visitors today. And to all of you that are here, we welcome you in more ways than one. We extend our hand to you, shake our hands, but we open our arms to you to give you a hug. We say, welcome, welcome, welcome. Parkwood, come on, let's help. Let's welcome them the Parkwood way. is a magnet for God's blessing. Amen. Good morning, church. Okay, I'm going to let you know now, crowd participation is going to be required for the next few minutes, so just get yourselves ready. All right. How many people have already voted? Stand up, please. Yay! All right, keep standing, keep standing. I ain't say sit down. How many people plan on voting? Please stand up. No, no, if you've already voted, stay standing. But those that, plan, that haven't but plan to, please stand up. Yes. Okay. Yeah, everybody can be seated now. <laughs> so we know we're getting down to the wire. We only have a couple more days before the time to make a difference, a time to stop talking about it and be about it. Another question. 
Anybody born before August 6th, 1965, please stand up. Some folk don't know their birthday. <laughs> August 6th, 1965 is when the Civil Rights Voting Act was passed. Amen. So some of you, depending on your age, may be aware of what was going on, or some of you may not. But to all of you standing, thank you. Thank you to your parents. Thank you to my grandparents and your great-grandparents for what you did to get us to this point. All right, y'all can be seated now. And if I have, I, I want to talk to my generation and those coming up behind me. There was way too many people that had to endure and go through way too much for us to have the audacity to take the attitude, well, I'm not going to vote. I don't feel like waiting in line. My vote doesn't matter. Your one vote matters to the one person who had to deal with the discrimination to fight to, for you to That's even right. be able to say that. I want you guys to pay attention to some of the pictures we have going here. These were our parents and our grandparents doing what needed to be done at the time for us to be able to stand here and even be able, for me to be able to even make this speech to try to convince you, which I shouldn't have to convince you, to go out and make your voice count. I know we live in a society now in a time where it's, it's all about me and selfie this and selfie that and look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at us. Look at, us. Look at how far we've come. Yeah, right. It's our responsibility to make sure we keep moving forward. That's right. This particular presidential election is very, very significant. Your attitude about I'm not going to vote, my vote doesn't matter, is a vote for our children, my daughter, my grandkids to have to be in these same pictures a couple generations from now. All right. I don't want that. You shouldn't want that. I heard somebody say one time before, what you say is who you desire to be. What you do is who you truly are. So how about... Let's do what we say we're going to do so we can be about what we say we're going to be about. All right. Now, Pastor, you can probably appreciate this. I heard this the other night at an event I went to, and I'm going to leave this with y'all to marinate on. A sermon is great to see. I mean, it's great to hear, but it's even better to see. There you go. So y'all know what we do, but I'm going to change up our chant just a little bit if that's okay. And again, for our participation. For all of those who've already voted, if you would, please stand again. And instead of saying, we're going to say forward together, instead of saying not one step back, we're going to say we ain't going back. Excuse me, Mom, I know that's not proper English. But we ain't going back. So forward together, we, we ain't, ain't going back. Forward together, we ain't going back. And a fist in the air for all those that sacrificed and came before us. Forward together. We ain't going back. Thank you. All right. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. Thank you so much, Connie. Thank you, Sister Mamie. Thank you, all of you, for your announcements. You've heard them. Please be governed accordingly. Let me say to our young adults, we were supposed to gather today but because we have a funeral right after service, I'm gonna change the date if the Lord wills. Next Sunday, right after service, we will be going to Bobby O's restaurant up at North Lake, right after service. Young adults from 18, I'm stretching it, to 45. We are going to gather from 18 to 45. Lee, are you in that group? All right, you're you making it. Okay, from 18 to 45, we're going to gather at Bobby O's next Sunday after service. So tell your young adult friends they must come and be a part of the church. Come and fellowship so we can go and fellowship and interact after service. Okay? Now, I need your participation with this. Sharita, would you stand? 
I need you to give your name if you plan to go to Sister Redfern because we need to give account to the restaurant, okay? If you don't give it to her today, make sure she has it by Wednesday. Uh, I, I'm gonna take the liberty, uh, Sharita, and ask you to give your phone number to Jasmine so she can put it on the screen. If you don't mind them calling you, you text it to her so she can put it up because we need an, a, as much of a good count as we can get, okay? All right, thank you for that. Pictures are on Facebook or will be on Facebook of yesterday's events. We have several pictures of yesterday's events and they are beautiful. Uh, they will be on Facebook. The Women's Conference, if you have not registered, please register for our Women's Conference. Registration is due now. Since I am the leader of this pack, I am trying to squeeze us in there and prolong it because I want us to go. Registration for hotel um, accommodations are still open, but I need us to register so that we can be a part of this conference, which will be held the 21st, 22nd, and the 23rd of November. God bless you. God bless you to our virtual world Facebook family and to our uh, folk that are on Zoom. Hello, y'all wave, y'all wave. Y'all give them a shout out to our virtual family. God bless you. We love you and we thank God for you. Amen. Officers, if you would come, if God has blessed you this week, somebody say amen. amen. If God has blessed you enough to be a giver today, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You can let the worshipers come on in. If God has blessed you in an exceeding abundantly over and above way, come on and put your hands together and bless the name of the Lord as we prepare our hearts and our minds to give as unto the Lord. God is so good to every one of us. Amen. God has blessed us more than we could ever deserve. And there is no repayment for what God has done for us. And the sacrifices from our lips, the fruit of our lips, he will accept it and take it to heart when we mean it from our hearts. Amen. Let us bow our heads to pray. God our Father, there is no way we can live without you. There is no way we can make it without you. Burdens are too much for us to bear. But since you said 